Good afternoon everybody. What a miserable afternoon it is as well, honestly, proper autumn days. It's poured down all night, honestly. I've got like a dormer, um, it's a house, but like it's a dormer bedroom. And um, the rain just batters on the ceiling all night long it was. And then there was a little bit of lightning, it was awful. But at least we haven't got volcanoes <laughs> erupting, so I suppose that's something. Anyway, I thought I'd pop on again and show you some more of my shopping finds. Um, not a lot really, there's not a lot to um, that I've been shopping. Um, I've only really been to Home Bargains. I've got a couple of, I have got lined up, but they haven't arrived yet, another Aldi Dupes video. And there's some really good things, you know, so really keep an eye out at Aldi. And another thing I noticed when I went in Home Bargains, do you remember the pink, um, the brush set that I got, you know, the electric brush set from the pink stuff. Well, uh, I noticed they had them in Home Bargains, but they were 9 99 But I do think that most of the oldies are sold out of those now because they are really good. I'm really using it a lot. You know, it's surprising, you know, down the side of your dishwasher, all, all sorts of places, you know. Anyway, oh, I don't really can hear that. That's Mabel crying. Mabel, come here. Come and say hello. Are you gonna come and say hello? Good girl. Good girl. This is for my son-in-law because he keeps saying we need more of May Mabel on, on the vlog. So Mabel's here. I don't know where my dog Betsy is. I'll see if I can. Say hello, Mabel. Hello. <laughs> go on, you go down. I'll find Betsy in a minute because we don't want to leave her out. She's probably hiding. Because my dog, like I said before, she's 11. Where's Betsy? Are you crying for her? Anyway, I just thought I'd show you a few things. But first of all, I just want to say a very, very happy birthday to a lovely lady that follows my channel. And she was 86 on the 13th of September. And her name is Wynne Hart. So happy birthday, Wynne. I hope you're enjoying the channel. It's lovely, lovely to hear from different people. And I've had some lovely comments. I'm really pleased. Thank you. Thank you all so much. Anyway, without further ado, as they say, <laughs> I'll get into some of the things that I've bought. Before I go into the Home Bargains one, there was just a, a couple of things that I got from Next Online. Um, just let me alter this a bit now, and you might be able to see them better. Um, I, I thought these were nice for Christmas gifts. The um, diffusers, you know, um, fragrance diffusers but this one's like done up like a christmas gong so that's really nice and i think that one was five pound and it's called gary the gong my brother's called gary so he may well get this <laughs> and then there's another one there's about four but i didn't get them all then there's ronnie the reindeer so if you know anybody called ronnie you can get him a reindeer what do they call them are the diffusers anyway <laughs> it looks lovely but the one that I thought lots of people, anybody who's got a cockapoo, there's one here that says Charlie the cockapoo. And I thought, what a lovely gift for anybody who's got a cockapoo. You know, I know a few people that have got cockapoos, including me. Um, so I thought that would be a really nice gift for them. So I'll just show those before, I'll, I'll get, get move on now shortly to um, my whole bargain haul. Nothing really very exciting. Let me just put, well, actually, I'll show you this first. I thought, let me put those down. I thought this was really good. It's just like a beer crate. Look, isn't it nice? But I thought, what a good gift for a man. You know, if you're buying some bottles of beer and put them in there, I thought that looked really nice. It was 3 49 that, but I just thought it's, re it's really nice and probably useful afterwards, you know. Very rustic looking. You never know what to get men, do you? They're a pain to buy for. And most of them say they're not bothered, but you feel like you've got to get them something, don't you? Right, I'll go on to the other things from home. I think I'll bring the bag up here. Not much, really. I don't, I, I'm not really going to show food much because I think it's a bit boring, really. But I just thought these look really good. They're called Rainbow Cookies. And I thought, if you've got any children coming around, what a look. Because I had a, a terrible experience a while ago. My niece came around with her little boy, who's, um, well, is four. 
and um, he said, I said to him, do you want a drink? And he said, can I have a biscuit? And I didn't have any biscuits and felt terrible. But I don't really eat biscuits and neither does I have a son who lives with me. So neither does my son. And if they're in, you do eat them. You know, we're both always trying to watch our weight. Never get anywhere, but we're trying to watch it. <laughs> and um, so I felt terrible. So I thought, I'm never going to get like that again. I have to say, I bought about three lots and eaten a lot of them. But I just thought they were really nice. And I'm definitely not going to open them until he comes round today. <laughs> so if you're watching, Oscar. <laughs> So I thought they were really nice. And then I just got a few things that I thought would be nice for Christmas presents because it's difficult, you know, and when it gets nearer Christmas. But this isn't a Christmas present. This is some LED lights. Now, I like to wrap these around my trees at Christmas. And to be truthful, I leave them on all year, but some did get cut um, with the lawnmower, unfortunately. So I've got another one and it's 200 copper wire LED string lights. Look lovely wrapped around the tree trunk. And they were 4 99 so I thought that was quite good. Because when it gets near Christmas, you won't be able to get them. And then another thing that I thought was a nice gift. Um, it's a funny thing, but it was only 2 99 which I thought was good. It's three jams, well chutneys. There's um, an apricot and ginger chutney, which sounds fabulous. That sounds absolutely amazing for with cheese. And I like that as well. I like apricot chutney on um, avocado and toast. That's really nice. And then there's a red onion and ale relish. And, uh, oh, you know, an apple and fruit cider, all in this jute bag. And that was 2 99 Well, that makes a nice gift. Particularly if you're making up a hamper. Wouldn't that look nice in a hamper? It'd be amazing. Right, I'll put that down now and see. Oh, I did get two packs, two packs of Christmas cards. I do usually like to buy the local hospice Christmas cards, but I just thought these are good to have in. And they are charity cards. I mean, I don't know how much would go to the charity. NSPCC, it says. Um, and they were 99p each, which I thought was really good. How many's in? Oh, I've not got my glasses again. Oh, I think there's eight in. So that's really good, isn't it? They look nice. And they're just handy to have in, aren't they? You always think you've done all your Christmas cards and then you get one from somebody you've not sent one to. A lot of people have stopped sending them now, haven't they? But it's lovely to receive them, isn't it? But you do get a bit fed up of where to put them all, don't you? Another thing I got up was, I, when you wrap your presents up, I always think it's nice to tie something nice to them. And I saw these, look, aren't they nice? The little ballet shoes, I suppose it's a tree decoration, but what I thought is, I'm, they were one ninety nine, and I thought I'm going to split them and tie one to, you know, little girl, some girl, little girl's presents. I thought they'd look lovely. Aren't they sweet? Look how pretty they are. They look lovely on a gift and it just, it, it's more exciting opening a lovely wrapped gift, isn't it really? So I got those. Then I got, um, a ginger candle. I love these gingerbread candles, but I got a small one because, as you know, I've got lots of candles. Um, so, but I love the smell of them, and I thought the big ones they take such a long time to burn. Whereas these small ones, I mean, I don't know whether you could use that as a glass after. I don't know. I've never, I've never tried, but it, it's nice candle, isn't it? It's lovely. There's all different fragrances, and I think that was eighty nine p. Well. You can't grumble at that, can you? And talking about uh, glasses, I saw these. Now they had these in um, the tall glass, um, you know, like um, highball glass, and then there's these. But I thought, what a nice gift that would be um, if you were giving it to a man, say, with a bottle of whiskey. And they were only 99p. I mean, years ago, you would have paid a fortune. I mean, I know they're not crystal. But they look nice, don't they? I know it's a bit old fashioned now, but there's nothing like a lovely crystal glass is there to drink out of. So I thought for 99p, they were really, really good. They also have, um, you know, the glass coffee mugs and that. They, they're plain, but there's lots of those for one pound. I mean, I didn't need any because we've got quite a few, but for 129, I thought they were really good, you know. 
uh, maybe a nice gift if you're buying some nice coffee for someone then these two things i usually try and buy these each year they have different ones last year i think they were soldiers but aren't they cute they're just lovely for little stocking fillers they're 99p little tiny tins and they're full of little biscuits i mean there can't be many in but i think i think have they both have one oh no they're not biscuits i tell a lie they're chocolate coins so for 99p for the little tin and the chocolate coins, isn't that nice? I thought they were lovely, those. I mean, I suppose you could even have them as a decoration after, you know, if you want to. Anyway, I'm sure I'll find somebody to give those to. And then finally, from Home Bargains, I thought this, I don't know what it'll be like. It's, this was, how much was it? I think it was 2 99 And it's um, skincare. And it's moisturising cream, face, neck and hands with collagen. And I, I thought, that not that a nice little gift for someone? Or just even handy to have in your bathroom or something, you know. I mean, I haven't tried it, so I don't really know what it's like. I did try and get this up, but I haven't got it up properly, you know, so you can use it. Oh, now I have. <laughs> I'll, I'll put some on my hands and see. Oh, it's very creamy. I mean, I always buy that aqueous cream, which is very cheap for your body. I think that's really good. And it, where they sell the aqueous in um, Home Bargains, that's where that was. And there was another one, there was um, a collagen one and a retinal one. Um, I mean, it's amazing how cheap now a lot of skincare's come down. Oh, it does feel lovely though. If you don't use it for anything else, it's brilliant for hand cream. It feels lovely. Right, what else have I got to say? I'd just like to say, I'd, I'd like to thank everyone again for coming on. Um, and I hope you've all had a lovely weekend. Um, I had, on Saturday, I did, you know, I told you I was going to um, try and sort out how to put links on and edit. Well, I haven't got very far with the editing, but I think I have worked out how to put links on. So hopefully I'll be able to do that in future. Then on Sunday, um, I made a Sunday dinner. I often do for the family. Um, what, my daughter and son-in-law came round and my cousin and then I have a son who lives with me. So we all had a really nice Sunday dinner. Um, it just it just is nice, isn't it, everybody getting together because you don't know what's around the corner with this blooming COVID thing. You don't really be able to get to see one another because we've no petrol. It's all doom and gloom, isn't it? You know, I, I, sometimes you wonder who's running this, this country, don't we? But anyway, we shouldn't grumble, should we? Anyway, I don't know if I've got anything else to say, really. I'm hoping to come on maybe, perhaps not tomorrow, because tomorrow is my birthday, but um, maybe Thursday I'll perhaps come on um, if I've got the Aldi delivery, and then I'll show you all the Aldi beauty dupes. I have sort of been looking where they're from, and uh, quite a few of them I've had before, because I do really rate their beauty dupes. So you want to keep your eyes out in store for them, because I do really rate Aldi. I mean, what what they've done to supermarkets i mean they've really brought the prices down oh here's we've got a little grumble coming on with the dog right here's my betsy here's betsy say hello betsy isn't she lovely i absolutely adore her she's going we've got you coming as well we've got mabel coming as well yeah yeah cockapoos all cockapoos come on then do you want to come up no i don't think i can lift her both up Betsy's a bit chunky like a mummy, aren't you? Aren't you? Say hello, Betsy. She's just glad to get out of Mabel's way, really, aren't you, sweetheart? Anyway, bye for now. See you soon. And thank you, thank you so much for all your lovely comments. And if, you, if you're new here, I'd love you to subscribe if you'd like to see me again. <laughs> okay, thank you very much. Bye.